Hackney in East London is a vibrant part of the British capital. Many old houses here have been restored and redesigned in recent years. Like this one in Mapledean Road. Hi, welcome to my house. Do come in. Patrick Michelle has been living here since autumn 2007. The architect extended and modernized this Victorian era house built in the late 19th century. The first time he saw the inside of the building, it looked very different. It was a mess. It'd been squatted. Uh, the bailiffs had ripped most of the things out of the house. Um, so it was a fairly lurid colour scheme and there'd been, been fires on the floors, there'd been fires in the upper room. Um, and yeah, it was generally in a very, very poor state. But uh, I knew what, what could be done with it. So where probably other people have just seen squalor and mess, I see a sort of an amazing opportunity. Michelle bought the house for a low price at an auction in 2006. Eleven months later, the renovations were complete. The kitchen was expanded to include a 25 square meter dining area. This is the line where the old wall used to be, and um, I removed the wall. Uh, to extend out into the passage space, which used to be an external space, um, and I rebuilt the party wall to, to lift it up and create a very sort of light and airy space. Um, and the old space that was external was enclosed by glass. As well as the kitchen, the living room is also on the ground floor of the 130 square meter house. The bedrooms and bath are on the upper floor. But Michelle's favorite part of the house is in the kitchen. I'll um, quite often sit here and read a book or um, read the papers on the weekend. And when it rains, it's, uh, it's a really nice spot to be. You feel kind of much more connected to, the, to nature and the garden. So, um, and, and often you don't see the sky in London. So both sort of this spot and the, the glass roof really kind of allow you to see sort of straight up, which is. Um, quite unusual. For Michelle, linking the house and garden was a key part of the renovations. The kitchen's concrete floor leads directly outside. When it came to furnishing, Michelle focused on powerful colors. He spent around 150,000 euros on renovating the house. But the total cost was still less than the average price of a family home in London. It's been a real pleasure to work on an existing Victorian building and transform it, uh, bring it back into life um, so it's suitable for modern living. And um, I think it shows how you can usefully bring back sort of um, run down building stock um, and for me it's been a, an enormous pleasure being able to live where uh, where on a place where I've worked on Patrick Michelle hopes to convert many more old buildings in the future